Hi, hi, it's your boy Jack here. I am filming another video on my phone because I just sort of realized that I'm probably not going to have enough time to put out a video talking about, or I'm not going to have enough time to like fully edit a unboxing video and everything for uh, the Comic Tom February box um, and everything. So I sort of decided to, I sort of wanted to talk about this. And what this is, is me talking about writing fan fiction. Um, because I was bored during quarantine and my sister was bored during quarantine so we decided to have a writing challenge where we wrote um, different stories and stuff and sort of compared notes. So I'm gonna, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my half of the story where I wrote fan fiction about the Batman Curse of the White Knight um, series and everything. So yeah, that's basically the summary of it. Um, for those of you who don't know about the, um, the Curse of the White Knight series, um, it is a series done by um, Sean Murphy and Matt Hollingsworth, um, and my whole idea, like, um, my whole idea with this series and everything, and even with writing fan fiction, is, like, I sort of like exploring characters and maybe understanding characters through, like, not just other, other stories and everything, but maybe through, like, my own eyes as well, like, I've wrote, I've written, um, just for context here, I wrote another series, um, like, a sort of fan fiction that I may release on this channel, um, in everything um that is like a gambit nightcrawler story uh in everything and um like if i really have the time and the um the effort like eventually i definitely want to show you and get it out of like the fan fiction and all that kind of stuff so in today's video though i'm gonna sort of tie back to my main point here because i'm i'm just ranting i'm sorry i'm just going all over the place i don't really have the like, whole plan on talking about this and everything but um in this video, I'm gonna take, break down the um, sort of like the series idea and everything, and as well, I'm gonna break down the um, the first sort of scene of the actual like fan fiction that I wrote and everything. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Let's just sort of jump into it. Um, or well, actually, I should say this just to preface it: if you like this video or if you like this concept of video and stuff. I'm sort of down to maybe extend this, like, extend this comic or this story and, like, write more additional scenes and everything. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. Uh, besides that, though, let's sort of start doing the reading. So the idea for the series is, um, this series is a companion series to the hit Batman Curse of the White Knight and White Knight series by Matt Hollingsworth and Sean Murphy. Uh, it would take place in the same world as the series but would focus on the citizens of Gotham instead of the superheroes and villains. Uh, the comic would uh, pull influence from stories like Gotham Central, which is a comic that focused on Gotham Police, the Gotham Police Department, and the struggles of working and living in Gotham. Uh, and it would, uh, the, the comic was done by Ed Brubaker, Greg Rucka, and Michael Lark, if you want to search, search that up, Gotham Central. Um, it also pulled influence from the comic Naomi by Brian Michael Bendis and Jamal Campbell, which focuses on a teenage girl discovering her true heritage after meeting Superman. I chose these two comics since it focuses on the day-to-day -day person and the impact of living in the world of superheroes, which is something that uh, I'd like to sort of emulate in this story. Um, the story itself focuses on citizen Gotham citizens, living in the city protected by Batman and their views on the events of the White Knight series as it progresses. This series would be more scattered in storytelling since it would focus more on the events impacting the citizens of Gotham and give you a look at the Gotham Underground. The main character is Duke Thomas from the White Knight series who's in charge of a group of uh, a community he's in charge of a community group to discuss problems in the city. This, this cast would be a diverse cast. It would include district representatives, stay-at-home moms, millennials, uh, to superhero villain, like, or different supervillain gang members and everything. Um, and there'd be sort of, like, because this being a tie-in series, there would obviously be cameos from Jack Napier, such as Joker, um, from the series, as well as Harley Quinn and Batman. Um, uh, but the main question is why I wanted to do this series is, like, this sort of series made sense. It's I really liked it. one thing I liked about um, Batman: Curse of the White Knight or Batman: White Knight is the approach to the down to earth approach the story had and everything. And I really like it made me realize like that's something I'd love to see with this series investigated more and everything. 
Um, so like that's why I wanted to sort of do this and write this like fan fiction out and flesh it out because uh, I would love to see this city expanded because it's sort of cool and interesting and I'd love to see non-central characters viewpoints on the characters uh, the main characters in the series and the events in the series as well. So yeah that was sort of like the idea that like I presented and everything and um, and like I sort of would want to do as like a hypothetical series if I could like write a comic but that's yeah that's probably not happening but um that's sort of like my concept at least uh besides that though as well um like part of our sort of challenge that we had was to write out like a scene and everything um and as i said before um if you like this kind of story and you want me to like continue this give it a thumbs up if not no worries uh, i'm just sort of making this as a quick sort of like filler video because i sort of want to talk about this comic and this sort of challenge that I did because I'm sort of low-key proud of it but yeah um but we did this sort of scene and everything um and this is a scene so uh keep in mind too one thing I'll sort of mention is that I'm sort of writing this really descriptive like visually descriptive and everything um so I sort of tried to write it as if like you're sort of like um like you're sort of trying to visualize the actual like comic page and everything uh so yeah that's the other thing as well uh, so, the scene. So, uh, a tall, well-built built man is walking on the bottom right side of the street. He wears a toque, a toque, not a, not a hat, um, but a toque, uh, and a hoodie with a leather jacket on top. The building encapsulates this man as he walks uh, down the street. Um, uh, the buildings encapsulate this man as he walks down the street, showing him being very small and perspective to the buildings. The street goes straight for what seems like miles. On the top left side of the picture, or of the picture down the street, you see uh, on the top of a three-story building uh, being blown up as a black car glides over the middle of the street um, into another building. The pieces of the building have flown off and then a fire starts to form on top of the home. Uh, part two, or like page two, because I sort of tried to segment it in pages, but yeah. Um, the man starts running towards the site of the crash. He sees people telling him, or he starts telling people to get back as he looks up at the building, which is on fire. As he runs into the building, he, um, he immediately runs up the stairs. In the background, one of the people who he told to get back says, what the hell, man? The man, the man is at the second story and he runs into the second story hallway. He looks up to see this, the ripped open roof and the blue sky. He hears screams and a woman's voice saying help traumatically. He runs up to see the remnants of the bedroom with the bed and the bedroom is covered in collapsed pieces of the roof and small fires and smoke, uh, smoking pieces of furniture. The man looks up to see a hand gripping uh, a piece of the broken floor. He immediately rushes towards a female in need, but as he runs towards her, the pieces of the floor break of what she's holding on to. She falls and he, and he hears a loud scream um, as she falls. He looks down in shock of what happened and sees a broken mirror showing Duke's face for the first time as a broken portrait. So yeah, that was sort of the scene of, uh, of the actual, like that was the scene that I sort of typed out in the time that we sort of did the challenge for and everything. Um, I'm definitely sort of down to extend this. I also sort of why I wanted to propose it as a video because um, when I have the time and everything, I would love, like, I may sort of add a couple scenes and everything, but I don't want to like put it onto the channel if like people are like, oh, this isn't really interesting and stuff. But um, that's sort of like, at least my concept for fan fiction. That's something that I'd love to see with like, just like, that's something I'd want to see with just a White Knight series, but also in general when it comes to like Marvel comics and everything, your boy would be sort of low key standing, um, like sort of like just like a series about people living in the city, which a superhero um, protects people from. Like if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, that's um, that's basically it. Um, as I said before, leave a like if you want me to continue this. You leave your thoughts down below. Um, next week, I will probably and hopefully get the video out for, um, the February Comic Tom, but yeah, uh, besides that though, hope quarantine's going well, let me know in the comments what you are doing in quarantine, what kind of comics you're reading, and also, also, um, 
some interesting fact or something that you learned today, maybe. I don't know. That I, That's just comment down below. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Uh, boop.